In this video, we will discuss how to solve nested square roots, such as the one I have here. We have the equation x is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6, where each successive square root is nested inside the previous one. And this pattern continues on forever. Now how would we go about determining the exact value of x? The first step in solving this problem is to recognize that these terms, starting with this root 6 over here and continuing on forever, are also equal to x. This observation allows us to rewrite our equation as x is equal to the square root of 6 plus x. If we square both sides, we get x squared is equal to 6 plus x. If we bring all the terms to the left-hand side, we get x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. And if we factor, we get x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0. This gives us two solutions. The first is x equals 3, and the second is x equals minus 2. The negative solution is irrelevant in this scenario, so we're going to eliminate it. And this leaves us with our answer as x is equal to 3. Now let's consider a variation of this problem. Let's say we have the equation x is equal to 20 plus the square root of 20 plus the square root of 20, and so on. The difference between these two problems is that in the problem on our right, we have the additional term outside the nested square root. And to solve this problem, we're going to start by ignoring this term. Rather, let's focus on determining the value of these underlying terms, which I'm going to call y. If I write out y for clarity, you'll notice that what we have here is extremely similar to what we started with in our first problem. In our first problem, we had 6 inside of our nested square root, but now we have 20 instead. And because these two equations are so similar, we can employ the same approach in solving them. As with the last problem, we have to recognize that these terms, starting with this root 20, are also equal to y. This will allow us to rewrite our equation as y is equal to the square root of 20 plus y. And if we square both sides like we did in the last problem, we get y squared is equal to 20 plus y. Bring all the terms to the left hand side, we get y squared minus y minus 20 equals 0. If we factor this, we get y minus 5 times y plus 4 equals 0, which gives us two solutions like last time, y equals 5 and y equals negative 4. We're going to eliminate the negative solution, which is irrelevant, and this leaves us with y is equal to 5 as our solution. But we're not quite done with the problem yet. Our goal in this problem was to find the value of x, and finding the value of y was a step in that process. If we return to our topmost equation, we get x is equal to 20 plus y. We know y is 5, so this becomes x is equal to 20 plus 5, and thus x is equal to 25 is our solution.